folks. On my call, my beloved long-term AOE members, what do you reckon the answer to that is? What advertising works best for Amazon in 2020? It depends. That's right. It depends what you're selling. It depends what you're selling. All right, so here's some, at least some, some generalities that we can make about advertising, okay? So generality number one. First rule of advertising is you put your advert in front of people who are either ready to buy your product or predisposed, pre-interested to buy your product. So that's advertising 101. Okay, so how the hell do you do that? Well, ready to buy your product, that means search marketing. Search marketing. Let's just go and pull up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, then we do need to go here. Amazon, I can show you some search marketing. So search marketing, as the name suggests, is when you search for something, you then get marketed for that product. So let's just go vitamin C, serum. So here are sponsored products. That means they're doing what's called Amazon PPC. And PPC is pay per click, which means right now, those adverts have not cost those advertisers any money at all, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. Uh, and they only pay when we click on their ads, meaning we only pay when we are interested in their ads. And given that we're on Amazon, ostensibly, hopefully to buy something, what it really means is we only click on the ads when we're interested in buying the product, okay? So that's PPC on Amazon. But of course, there is also PPC on uh, Google that we could go look at too. So PPC on Google we could do. I don't know if this is going to come up, but uh, vitamin C serum. Let's see if we get any paid ads. So here we are, paid advert for Google. And that works the same. So that's search marketing. It is a top tier advertising strategy because people are actually searching for your product, which is good, which is good. You want that. So uh, typically, that's the first thing you start with. Paid advertising, you typically start with search marketing because it's the uh, easiest to get right. Having said that, I am yet to set up an advertising campaign across any platform that is perfect first time. <laughs> and I set up a shitload of ads and yet I'm yet to do that. So typically what happens is um, new people to advertising in general set up their ad campaign and then when it doesn't work as planned, they say advertising doesn't work. But that's just bullshit because Advertising does work, but it always needs optimizing. Always needs optimizing. So if you just set it up and then forget about it, that is not going to work for you. It may have worked, you know, five, seven years ago, but now there's too much competition. You've got to be smart about it. You've got to go and optimize your ads. You can't just set it and forget it. It won't work. It won't work. So that's PPC. Next comes something you would have all seen. Um, ads on Facebook. So you'd have also, so here's one here for amazing. <laughs> uh, and that's an advert. Look, it says sponsored right there. You may not know this, but I can find out what their targeting is. So if you click on why am I seeing this ad, it'll show you right here. It says the reason I'm seeing this as one of the reasons you're seeing this as because people have visited the websites, blah, 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 blah. So it tells you their targeting in their ads. So if you want to, ever want to figure out somebody's targeting, you can just do that. Little tip for you. It's a rather fetching photo of Mr. English. I think we'll just leave that up whilst we're, uh, whilst we're talking. Um, so Facebook ads, this is a different kind of advertising and this is called interruption marketing. Interruption marketing, meaning what we're doing with Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest 
and YouTube, blah, 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 everything else basically that's not search, is we are interrupting somebody who's at a website for a reason other than buying our product. That's what we're doing and we're interrupting them. And so with interruption marketing, the most important thing is targeting, putting your advert in front of the right people. Now I'm just gonna take that one down because uh, seeing Mr. English like that, I think we can all agree is a little bit crazy. So that's, that's interruption marketing and they're the two different kinds, okay, but then Another kind of advertising, which most people don't really think about, which is search engine optimization, SEO. Uh, that shouldn't be discounted either. There's a great argument to be said for SEO in your products properly. Uh, I'm gonna give you something in just a little while to help you with SEO as well. Um, anything else I wanna add to that? Anything I've missed out, guys? <laughs> caption this, yeah, who's got a caption? <laughs> That has interrupted me. That's what that does. So what's a typical ad budget? I don't know. I don't know. There is no such thing as typical. There is only how much money have you got to invest in your ads? That's all there is. There is no, you should be spending 10, 50, $100 a day, whatever it is. There, that's all bullshit because what it comes down to is this. If you knew with certainty that for every $1 you invested in advertising, you made back $2, then the question becomes, how many dollars would you try and invest in your advertising? And the answer to that, of course, is as many as you could. So how much should you invest? Don't think about it like that. Think of it as, uh, you set up your ads, you run your ads, you optimize, and you get it to a point where you know with certainty that for every dollar you invest, you make $2 back, and then you throw as much money as you possibly can, as fast as you possibly can, whilst it's profitable, to do that. And that's what I do. And so they become investments instead. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.